Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss inverses, uh, but we're going to uh, discuss a special type of inverse which has to do with your exponential and your logarithms. So when you have an exponential equation or function that you're dealing with, then your inverse will be a logarithm. So if you look down here, they're referring to this h of x equals 6 to the x, that's exponential, and the inverse of h of x would be logarithm base 6 of x. So these are actually a special case, so there's not much algebra you can do to actually calculate. You just have to know what uh, you know what uh, form you need to change it to. So let's say you have um, a function, let's say g of x is 3 to the x, then your inverse of g will be a logarithm base 3 of x. Okay, so it's, it's pretty easy. You just use the same base number of 3 and then you put the x you know, as an exponent down to inside the logarithm. If you're given a logarithm, so let's say you have k of x equals a logarithm base 8 of x, then your inverse will be the exponential. It'll be 8 to the x. So they always just switch places, okay? And then as a quick reminder, let's say you have a base 10 log, so that would be logarithm of x. They don't write the 10. You just have to know that the 10 is there. So your inverse function would be 10 to the x. Similarly with uh, your natural log, let's say you have a function that's e to the x then your inverse function of that will be your natural log of x. Okay, so as you go down through this, <coughs> excuse me, this activity, what you want to do is just realize you're working with uh, inverse functions here. So they're doing f of x e equals 4 to the x, and you're making a chart down here using that function. So let's find a couple of values here together. So if you're finding 4 to the negative 3, let's see, where can I put this? So this box right here is going to be 4 to the negative 3. Remember that means 4 over positive 3, which is going to be 1 over 64. So you want to put 1 over 64 in that box. Okay, let's do another one over here. If you're finding 4 to the second, that's obviously just 16. So you can put a 16 in the box. Okay, so when you go down to your logarithm, if you know that you're dealing with inverse functions, which we are, remember the x's and y's just switch places. So if I had a negative 3 in my exponential, for x, then my negative 3 will be in my logarithm for the y value. And if I had a negative, sorry, not a negative, a positive 1 over 64 for the y, that will be the x value in the logarithm. So they're just switching places. And if we go down here to uh, this column down here, then you'll put the 16 in for x and the 2 in for y, just switching your values. So really all you're doing is generating values for this first exponential and then you're just switching those values down here for the logarithm. And then you want to work on your domain and range. Okay, so when you are working on your domain, I encourage you to look on Desmos if you need some help visualizing that. Same with your logarithm here. It'll graph both of those. And like I said, a lot of times visualizing those graphs and seeing those on Desmos, that'll be very helpful. Just also remember what we've discussed with your exponentials. They always have those horizontal asymptotes, right? And with your logarithms, they have those vertical asymptotes. So make sure you're thinking about that as you look on Desmos. 
and then similarly you'll do the same thing down here with another chart just uh, and then domain and range and then uh, check your answers using the answer key and we will build on this in our next lesson and uh, see you in the next video